The next item that we're going to go over here is just making simple text edits and adding links to the site. Um, so when you get logged in, this is what you're going to see. It's the dashboard is what we call it. Uh, this is your menu down the left hand side. There's only a couple of these you're going to need to worry about. Uh, pages here, rentals, programs, and forms. First one we're going to deal with is pages. So we just go there. Um, let's say, for instance, you needed to make an edit to this credit counseling program page. You can see it just lists all of the, all of the pages on the website here. You can see these with dashes. That means that they come under the page that's shown at the top before it. So these are all under programs. That's going to help you find some stuff here. Um, so you can see it's just like the navigation here. So if we want to edit the credit counseling page, we just click on the name of it. It'll take a second for it to load, and then you'll see we've got these little content blocks here with the text in it. Um, so let's say we wanted to update the text that's right down here. We needed to add a bullet point with a, a link. Um, we just come here. You can see as we hover over, we get this little green box. And here's this one that has the pencil. If we hover over it, it tells us edit this text block. So we'll click on that. We get a pop-up window with our text in it. We can resize this to move it around, do whatever we need to to give ourselves room to work. You'll see that the we've got a menu at the top here that looks a lot like a Microsoft Word uh, formatting toolbar, and that's exactly how it works. We've got bold, italic, bullet points, how to align the text, all of that good stuff. Just put our cursor in here and hit return. Hit save changes. We can see that it's been added here. Um, it doesn't become, doesn't uh, get saved uh, and move to the front end of the website until we hit this update button over here. So let's go ahead and hit that. As soon as that's done and the page refreshes, we can come over here to the front. We can hit refresh. And here we can see that we've got our new bullet point. So it's that simple for editing the text. If there's small edits like that, you can just type right into the, the window as needed. Um, if you're going to copy and paste from a Word document, that is also just fine. Uh, the only thing you only want to do is click this Paste as Text button. Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to prevent you from bringing in uh, heavily formatted text from somewhere else. So, you know, if somebody has typed it up in a, in a silly font and they've put some of it green and some of it pink, it's going to strip all of that out so that when you paste it in here, it's going to keep everything consistent as it should be on the website. If we want to add a link in here, we can just say put in our text, highlight our text, and then right up here, this little link icon you can see. Click on that. This little gear here gives us a few more options as to how that's going to work. It's nice because then we don't have to figure out what page we're linking to. We don't have to try to figure out how to type the link. It gives us a whole list here of everything on the website that we can link to. And it's got this handy dandy little search tool. We can just start typing in contact. There's our contact page. Once we click it, Right up here, it's going to write in the URL for us. There we go. It's already set to link. And we can just click Add Link here. If you're going to link to an external site, I would just say open another tab. Find whatever it is that you need. Let's just make sure that you're not going to uh, type it incorrectly. You can just copy that. Come back here. and paste it in. Only difference here if you're linking externally is you want to click this open link in a new tab. So if you're linking to some partner site, uh, you know, the credit counseling or something like that, it just means that it'll open in a new tab and when they close it, the CVHC site is still there. 
Um, in any case, let's make this back into the contact page and do that. We'll say add link. It's added the link for us. Once again, we'll just hit update over here on the right. We'll go to our other tab we've got open, refresh the page, and there's our, there's our link. Links are automatically already green so that they stand out. People know that they're links, and it's written the link for us. So when we click it, ta-da, it takes us to the contact page. That is all we're going to cover in this one. That is how you make simple text edits and add links to the website.